A Waffle House worker says she is scared to go back to work after a gunman carjacked her on her break. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez live on Flash Shoals Road in Union City. Taisha, the worker told you she did everything she could to prevent this. Justin, she said she's been held at gunpoint at this same Waffle House before, and that's why this morning she parked right underneath these surveillance cameras. It didn't matter, though. She still got carjacked, and she said the video quality is so bad it's hard to see the suspect. I parked right here. Tyshawn DeBell thought it would be safe to park her car right underneath this surveillance camera at her job, the Union City Waffle House on Flat Shoals Road. The camera didn't scare a gunman who came out of nowhere early Friday morning. As I was approaching my car, getting into my car, he ended up walking up and had the gun like in the door trying to keep me from closing it and was like, get out, give me the keys. Get out the car, give me the keys. These are surveillance photos from Waffle House. Bell couldn't believe a gun was in her face at work again. She said eight months ago, two gunmen approached her while working inside. Two guys walked in and was like, Y'all know what time it is, and end up having a gun point to my head. And I was the one that opened up the register and gave them the money. She said she's worked for Waffle Houses all over the metro Atlanta area for seven years. When she started working at this one, she had a bad feeling. This way everything goes down at. Now she's going to look for another job and she hopes police recover her car. Scared, traumatized. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm hurt, you know, because I work hard for everything that, you know, I got. And to just get something taken from me, I don't know how to explain it, but I'm hurt. You know, because I work hard for everything that, you know, I got. And to just get something taken from me that I work hard for is ridiculous. The victim told me she's been showing that surveillance photo to everyone she knows, and she just called me and said she came up with a possible name for the suspect. So she called the detective, gave him the name. She's hoping she can get her car back, and the suspect will get arrested. We're live in Union City. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.